Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Today, I'm playing some more Yuppie Psycho. Welcome to episode two. Um, fun fact, I actually already recorded this. Uh, and then the audio for the microphone was just total, total garbage. It was not fun. Uh, it was like every two seconds, the microphone would cut out. That's not fun. And it just, I don't know, just didn't sound very good. So what I've done is I've set up Adobe Audition to record the audio for us rather than go through Brent's uh, little recording device. So hopefully the audio will be, I don't know, at least a little bit better. Uh, so today, 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 we're going to the library because we got to go find that thing that we had to go find, you know, that thing. I don't remember what it was called, the hammer thing. I don't remember. Anyways, we're going to go find that today. And I do know some of the stuff that happens, but it's been like a week or two since I played this game, so I don't really remember, so eh, it should be fine. So the Sintra AI robot thing said the Hexenhammer, that's what it is, Hexenhammer, book is somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. Ah, oh, you don't need to be afraid this time. I mean, there's only there's only blood and uh, a giant X and, you know, the fact that the library is locked and you probably can't get in there. The screen reads, Anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy of Form R301 with all relevant data filled in and sealed with the reference code of Centricorp. All documentation can be found in the archives. Cool. So in that case, we gotta go fill out this form. Uh, dope. Well, at least I know the title. Perfect. Hex and Hammer, we gotta find the year, the author, and the publisher. Now I need to find the rest of the, the data in the archives. Alright, well let's be on our merry way. Uh, I also noticed, uh, when I played this the other day, that looking in the, uh, the drawers and the cupboards, uh, provides some useful, useful items, usually. Um, this game does a whole, like, Resident Evil thing where you need, um, witch paper. There we go. We need witch paper to save the game, so I'm not gonna save too, too often. Um, but I'll, I'll save enough to make sure I don't have to backtrack too much if I somehow meet an unfortunate fate. Um, hey, water. Ooh, I got a cup of water. Cool. I don't know what I need that for. But, eh, why not? Uh, oh. Oh, anything? No. There are black marks on the ground. It looks like someone has moved this cabinet. That's very true. Let's move it out of the way. And there is a triangle. Let's move it out of the way this way, maybe? Does that reveal anything? No? Uh, it looks like a triangle drawn in blood. Oh, jeez. Ooh, that's not fun. I mean, it could just be a really, really big red sharpie. That kind of, you know, just started leaking off the triangle for some reason I don't know I don't know let's turn on the light I don't I don't like the darkness <laughs> uh, there's a letter here it reads everything is computerized now nobody works at the archives anymore I've not seen the old owl man for years since then this has stopped being a safe place nobody believes me but I have seen something sinister roaming the bookcases well, that's fun. That's that's cheery and dandy, but that is so true. Everything's moved to online now, right? So, oh boy. Oh, we're getting spooky. We're getting spooky here. Okay, all right. Um, huh, let's see. What do I need to do? I can't, oh, 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 that's a, oh. Oh, geez. I think she just fell on too many ketchup packets. Oh, another corpse. I'm glad he's gotten used to it at this point now. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark, dot, dot, dot. Bleh. 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 What, what, what is that? Well, that, my friend, and I found this out the hard way the last time, is a, it's a, it's a mine, um, which is not good. And a copy of four, or R301. Wait, Hammer. she was looking for the same book as me. Whoa. It's almost as if they've already sensed people to go get this book. And they've hired previous witch hunters to come and hunt the witch and they've all failed. Oh, geez. So, yeah. Nothing new. Just a note in the author section. A2. Okay, cool. Well, let's go to A2. 
Uh, so let's move. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Move, move, move. Search A2. There's an old folder here with a squiggly and a... That's not a pentagram. That's like a septagram. I don't know. It's got seven points to it. I don't know what you call that. It looks like some, uh, some kind of riddle. Maybe it's leading me to another bookshelf. Well, I think that's... That's the beta symbol, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the beta symbol. So, baby seven? I don't actually know. I'm not sure. Uh, or is that the alpha symbol? I mm, okay. I know it's got something to do with seven. So I think it maybe it's the alpha symbol. Uh, hey, there we go. It was the alpha, not the beta. There's a folder here that's so old it's falling to pieces. There's only one thing in it. And it is a grid that says B1. Yeah, B1. All right. Let us go to B1 while trying to... Oh, B1 is right here. Easy. Oh, and there's a folder on top of it. I hope this is the last one. Up. Cool. <laughs> Definitely not the last one. Upstairs, it is. Aha! I didn't notice that when I played that the last time, but they actually shine a light on it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So the way we gotta do this is we gotta bring back all of these things. Yeah, yeah, and then we're gonna, you know, briskly jump and walk across it. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this way because those mines, they, uh, well, you can see the evidence right there. They're not, they're not exactly the most friendly mines in the world. Uh, oh, oh geez, all right. Just, oh god, okay, that's creepy. <laughs> that is creepy. Eh, I don't like that. I don't like spiders or bugs anyways. So, like, seeing them on the wall with blood, uh, that's not, yeah, that's not fun. Hey, it's another triangle in blood. That's fun. Uh, looks like a triangle drawn in blood. Cool. Great. Fantastic. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. Uh, author, H. Kramer, J. Springer. I didn't know Jerry Springer and Kramer. I wonder if that's a reference. Jerry, Jerry, yeah, yeah, Springer and Kramer, right? Yeah, that's hilarious. That's funny. Uh, these must be the authors of Hexenhammer. I'll fill in the form. Kramer Springer. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, if, if this book was written by Jerry and, and Kramer, I mean... That's going to be, I feel like it's going to be kind of a funny book. <laughs> kind of a funny yet awkward kind of book. Uh, anything in there? Nope. No, a slice of bread. That's the best place to keep a slice of bread. You know, ooh, two packets of coffee powder. That's even better. Nice. There's nothing interesting in that one. Uh, what about, ooh, a pencil. Okay, pencils are going to be very useful uh, in this game. Very, very useful. They're they're part of how we deal with the whole uh, that whole situation with the with the mines. I'll, I'll go into it later, but there's no power. Okay, well let's leave then. It looks like we're probably gonna have to set up the power again. What about in here? Is there also no power? Yeah, there's no power in here. All right. Uh, can I? Uh, it's a secure. Oh, it's secured with a knot. Untie it. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, oh gosh. Uh. Uh. Okay, that was just a dead body, right? Totally, totally perfectly normal dead body. Just dead and that's it, right? Right? Is there any... It's a fuse box. There's a fuse missing. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, the light's turned on for me somewhat. Oh no. Eh. Oh, it's moving. It's moving, and I can't move. This isn't good. What? What? Where's the light switch? Uh, let's run, 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 run. Okay, okay, do it. And oh, oh, he was not dead. It's empty. But there is a symbol behind it. All right. Um, lastly, let's see what's in these cabinets. Anything? No, no, nothing interesting. Cool. All right, I guess we're going to go check on our friend over here. All right. 
Uh, all right, this does not look fun. This does not look fun at all. Uh, ooh, do I open it? Do I not open it? Uh, okay, let's try opening it. Let's, oh, there's nothing in there. Huh. Let's try this one. Oh, there's nothing in this one. Ooh, but I got a sheet of witch paper. That's pretty cool. Ooh, wait, what about the, what about the end here? Anything? No? Okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna assume that... Oh, I got a pencil. Cool. All right. Anyone in here? Oh, are you a hunter? Uh, we were told last time not to tell anyone that we, you know, are a witch hunter. So I'm gonna say no. No, no, I'm a normal worker. Meh. What do you want from me? Why are you bothering me? Uh, who are you? I'm not a hunter either, like you. But I just told you I was not a hunter. Hey, do you need my help? You're bleeding, aren't you? Yeah. Somebody offering help in this company is one of two things. A rookie or a liar. Um, I suppose I'm a rookie. I'm from the suburbs. I see. You're poor and miserable. Like me. I also came from the suburbs. I worked as an electrician. Like my father and my grandfather before me. I suppose you already know how hard it is. How few resources there are. Where I'm from, from an early age, the only thing we want is to get out of there. I was happier, so I thought. But when that red letter arrived... Wait, red letter? Did you also get one? Yeah, I see. It turns out that in addition to being a rookie, you were also lying, aren't you? Hunter. Uh, but then you... also... Listen, you seem like a good kid. I don't want to frighten you. Can I help you out? Uh, okay. Since you're not going to kill me, can you let me know where the Hexen Hammer is? Do you know anything about this book that I need to find? It's called Hexenhammer. Uh, don't talk to me that, about that damn book. Okay. You just said you'd help me. <laughs> I managed to find half the info I needed for the forum, but one of those damn minds blew up and set the stupid thing on fire. Damn. I'm sorry. So, do you know where I can find the rest of the data? Didn't you see the sign at the entrance? It tells you which room each piece of information is in. Oh. Well, that would be good to know. Uh, weird things on the ground. Do you know anything about those things on the ground which explode? You know, mines? <laughs> I've been caught by, by several of those mines. Do you know if there's any way of deactivating them? You mean to kill them? They're not machines, more like mutant spawn. Okay. I've seen dead ones, so there must be a way to kill them. But I don't know it. Okay, alright. Uh, hmm, you told me that you're an electrician. Would you know how to turn the lights on upstairs? There's a fuse missing from the fuse box. You can replace it with anything made of metal, so long as it fits. Okay, anything made of metal, as long as it fits. Good to know. Check the items in, or check the items in your briefcase carefully. You can get a lot of information of them. Look them up. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Cool. All right, we're gonna leave. Thank you, and I hope you uh, get well soon, and a little less dead, and a little less uh, zombie looking. So, do we have anything that's metal? Not really. No, not... yeah. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so we, we gotta go find something metal. Uh, and also, this is important as well. So those symbols that we were seeing... Uh, relate to this thing right here. There was two triangles and there was a square, which means that whatever we need is going to be anywhere with two triangles and a square. So I think that is, let's see, there's four rows. I think it's this one. Is it? Square, triangle, triangle. This should be the place. I'll take a look at the covers. Yes. Cool. Bingo. This one reads Hexenhammer. Hey, wow, I got it. Cool. Great, that's cool. Uh, I can't remember what I needed that part for. Oh, I think that's the... Oh, I don't remember. It's something. It's it, it's something something important that I need. Uh, okay, so we've made our little loop. Uh, we need to go turn on the power, which means we need to find something metal to put in its place. Oh, wait, I didn't look in this guy's bag. 
Oh, it's just a sheet of witch paper. Oh, yo, right there, you got a sandwich wrapped in aluminum foil. Cool. So that aluminum foil, we are going to use on this thing. We're going to use, we're going to take the aluminum foil off. We're going to use this as the uh, the conductor or whatever. And we got one cheese sandwich. That's fun. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It seems like it's working. This should turn on the power to the room upstairs. Cool. Perfect. I always forget to check people's briefcases, you know, after they've after they've died. <laughs> it's always a it's always it seems like always a good thing to to check. All right. Lights on. Spooky things happening. There's a vent up there, but I don't know if I'm going to need it or not. Uh I'd rather not know who or what is on the other side. Yeah. No, fair enough. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, it's one of those mine things. Although this one seems to be dead because there's a gosh darn pencil stuck right in its eye. And oh, oh, hey, there is another character. Let's talk. Hello. Mm. Yeah. Hi, my name is Brian. Or, I mean, Pasternak. I can't hear you. Oh. Meh. Meh. Everyone's so awkward in this. <laughs> uh, excuse me, could you? I'm listening. You don't need to shout. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to be a nuisance. My name's Pasternak. Meh. Uh, weird things on the ground. Do you know anything about these weird, or these mines on the ground? Is there a way to deactivate them? Pencil. Pencil? Yes. Okay, do you mean that you use a pencil to kill them? Or that you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them? I'm not listening to you. I'm watching the movie. Alright, okay, thank you. I will try with a pencil. Uh, book data, have you heard of a book called Hexenhammer? No. Oh, I thought that maybe you worked on this floor and you could help me. No. Cool, great. Nice to meet you, random person. Okay. She, yeah, she, she would have had to kill this thing to get by it, right? So, all right, cool. Let's try in here. Anything? Ooh, mystery. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Did that hurt me? I think that hurt me a little bit. Oh, look at my health up there. Oh, let's drink a Coke. Let's drink a gosh darn Coke and have a copyright-free candy bar. Okay. Uh, now I think I need to, I gotta use the pencil that I picked up. Use. I can't reach it from here, I have to get a little bit closer. Oh, there we go. Use it, yeah! Stick it in its eye. Oh yeah, teabag. I'm just kidding. I don't think Pasternak would, would teabag very, well, really anyone. It's a tape player. It works with cassette tapes. Cool, and oh, it's a video player, I need a VHS tape. Uh, we picked up Hex and Hammer, which was a cassette tape. So let's use Hex and Hammer on here. I wonder what will be on this cassette. All right, let's listen. Meh. Uh-oh. Six? All I heard was six. Uh, I, I, I think the voice said 1486. That has to be the year of publication. I'll write it down on the form. Cool. Nice. Now all we need is the publisher. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, oh. Oh. That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good whatsoever. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, you know what? Let's run for our life because, I don't know. Why not, right? Okay. Let's go into here and let's turn this on. And you know what? I feel like now is a good time to save just in case because there's a ton of mines there. Uh, it's a photocopier, but it's out of ink. I'll need to replace the ink. Let's use it. Boom. Right there. Use the ink cartridge and we can use some paper to save ourselves. 
What a weird concept that you have to photocopy your face. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful face right there. Oh. I wonder if, uh, what's his name? Oh, who's the guy? Who's our, like, friend? Her, our bro dude? Putting his butt on all the photocopiers? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, let's go... Ooh! Okay, use. Yeah, perfect. Alright, that's fine. Uh, wow, that person is super dead. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Alright. Let's, you know what, let's kill this one. Let's kill this one. Boom, that was our last one. Can we pick up something? Hey, two pencils! Even better! Okay, I could kill a few more of these, but I don't think I, I don't think I need to. Uh, there's nothing here. Nope, that's fine. I don't see anything useful. Uh, more pencils! Okay, I'm totally down for that. Uh, Ed Alstein Verlag. This has to be the publishing house. I'm gonna write it down on the form. Perfect! Boom, we have filled out form R301. Fantastic. All we have to do is get back safely. Which, oh no. Oh, what's gonna happen? Why? What? Why? <laughs> what? Why is he a frog? Why is he a frog? Oh my gosh, what a, what a nincompoop. Oh, uh, wait, what? No, why? Why would you... Did he not see me? Did he not see me across? Who was that, really, Brian? You don't know your 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 workmate, your coworker? It's your first day, but you gotta be remembering this stuff. Okay, this is a problem now. I think I can make it out of here in the dark without blowing up. Uh, okay, well, it's good thing these things light up. Um, so I guess we'll just have to keep going. See. Haha, -ha, look at that. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. We're good there. Oh, we're a little close. No, no, oh, look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I did play this last time, so I kind of, I kind of already knew this part was coming, but I did the same ones I did last time, so that was fine. That was okay. Or, like, I killed the same mines, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy. Uh, well, that's everything. The form is all filled out. I think that I can get out of here and see if I can get into the library now. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see if we can finally retrieve this hex and hammer, because... I don't know. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Like, what are we even supposed to do with it? I don't know. Okay, let's go get the hex and hammer. Do you want to use form R301 with the computer? I do. Yes, please. No! Really? Error? After all that? It reads, Centricorp seal needed. Centricorp seal? Perhaps I should ask Centra. I'll go back to my office and talk to her. Cool. Great. I love, I love missions that are like, hey, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna make it so... Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna walk around you and just... Yeah, we're just gonna go back to our office. It's okay. It's all good. Yes, because there's a new boy who just started. Hadn't you heard? I can tell you whatever you want to know about him. Oh, no. There is no need. Thank you. How oh, delicious. Delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunch boxes? Uh... If he's gone mad, it'd be best to look, lock him up and let her take care of that nut, don't you think? <laughs> A pleasure. My name is Rostov. I work on the fifth floor. Uh, pleased to meet you. Did you hear? Well, I don't know. Hear what? Someone, someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again. Hugo, I assume. Okay. Pro that's his. That's his name. Hugo. Yes. Hugo, as opposed to Hugh Stop. <laughs> All right, are we in Office E? Yeah, we're totally in Office E. Hey, cough, cough. All right, let's talk. What do you want? Hello, Mr. Pasternak. Hello. How are you? How are you getting on? Well, well, I'm getting by. The keyboard, the computers, and that, the mouse, click, click. Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so do you already know what your responsibilities are? Uh, yeah, you know, my responsibilities, it's, uh, 
Uh, administration enum enumeration. S su subrogated. <laughs> hey, what about Hugo? Hugo! I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? He left a while ago. Why? Why? Nothing. Forget it. It's okay. You just... So as like you just go over there and just chill. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Has anyone talked to you about her yet? Her? Yes. You already know. Um, I don't? Of the... We... We... Which? Oh, um, uh, no? No, that doesn't ring any bells. Well, you have to be very careful, Pasternak. You, you know something about this witch? Careful. She is everywhere. This company is like an apple that fell from the tree, Pasternak. What do you mean? It looks normal on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She is the worm that lives inside it, and it catches you. If she catches you, you will become one of her children. What? Okay, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that does not sound good. Hey, Hugo! Hey! Hey, can I go beat you up for whatever you were doing? Ugh! Ugh, Hugo. Where's your frog mask? Well, uh, well, hello, you two. Am I interrupting something? What are you up to in this hidden corner? Pasternak, do you already have the goth club card? G goth club? Sosa loves all those weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Oh, that would explain the video stuff up there. So she's probably friends with that other girl that we saw up there. Okay, cool. Careful, she might kidnap you and take you to their secret lair. Ah, there's only two members. <laughs> yeah, so it was the other girl. Okay, that's fun. Oh, so Sosa knows stuff about this witch. And it seems like everyone knows about the witch, but they're just not talking about it because no one know, knows who the witch is? I don't know. How's tricks, Pasternak? I see that you're still working. Are you already adapting to the company? Yes, well, more or less. Hey, were you in the archives just now? Pasternak, it's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, workmate. Listen, we're going to take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Uh, well, we'll see if I'll still be here later. This work is very hard. Come on, man, cheer up. You have to stay. Everyone ends up staying. <laughs> okay, I don't trust Hugo. I don't trust Hugo whatsoever. I, uh, I don't know. I don't trust anyone here, really. I don't trust a single person. Oh, where's Sintra? Sintra? Uh, what's that voice? All right, I guess we'll just keep walk in this way, see where Miss Sintra is. Ooh. Oh yes, let's keep going. Maybe we'll run. Maybe just for for time's sake, why not? Hey, Sintra, you have a swing. That's cool. Sintra? I beg your pardon. What's a swing doing here? It is an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? M me? No, no, thanks. Maybe later. I wanted to talk to you about that book you wanted me to find. I found all the data and filled in form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pasternak. To be able to access the library, you will need the Centricorp seal that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printing in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out of Centronet. Thank you. Uh, what do you wish to talk about? Let's talk about the form, why not? You already have the form with all the hex and hammer data. Use it to enter the library and then find the book. Confidential work. Hey, you told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety. Correct, Mr. Pasternak. Discretion is one of our company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. 
So there are people here helping out the witch. Correct. It is entirely possible that she could be one of your co-workers. It is advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you are hunting her. I see. Cool, okay. So, really the only people I know, Hugo, Sosa, and then there's that girl that we met at the very beginning, and the douche bro. Uh, not douche bro, but like, he, you know, the guy from the beginning who was like, oh, oh, oh you're, you're from the suburbs, oh, I don't want to talk to you, or something, I don't know. Uh, which is children. Hey, do you know anything about, um, the children of the witch? I am sorry. I have no records of anything... I am sorry. <laughs> there was a, there was an ambulance. I am sorry. I have no records of anything named witch's children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them. Hmm. The witch has been hiding in this company and, said, and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company to some degree, with particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You should be careful, Mr. Pasternak. Great. Cool. Also, I love how you're trying to hire- like, you hired me as a witch hunter when this witch has been, like, screwing with this company for the past, like, couple decades. Like, I don't think- I don't think I'm the person to- kill this witch <laughs> but we also found out that other people have also been trying to kill this witch so we're not exactly special and the people that the people that they've been hiring to kill the witch are the people on the outskirts like the people in the suburbs the people who are like oh you know what these people are going to risk their lives to kill the witch but it's okay because they're people from the suburbs and they they don't know anything or they don't basically it's a it's a whole oh geez it's a whole thing isn't it oh geez i'm trying to piece together like the whole witch thing because the only it, it would have to be someone who who is okay with uh basically okay with talk or getting basically killing people sending people to their death because they they know that they're gonna die uh, on the off chance they maybe do kill the witch, uh, that'll be great, but for the most part, they're just sending the people who are uneducated, uneducated you know, in the suburbs, right, to go, come work in the city and risk their lives. That just, I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't sound good. Do you want to use Form R301 with the computer? I do. Check mark. Perfect. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, hold on. There was that... I, I totally didn't read that email. Their email said that there was a meeting somewhere. Oh, whatever. Uh, it was like a motivational meeting. <laughs> I don't... Oh, great. More dead people. Fun. Uh, ooh, pick up the flashlight. You got the flashlight. You can equip or unequip quickly with L trigger or R trigger. Uh, well, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, it says L trigger or R trigger, but it, I'm playing on an Xbox controller, and it's actually... RB and LB. You got one pencil. There's a note which reads, the flashlight is almost out of batteries, but still kind of works. Cool. Great. So I feel like I'm going to need to find some more. Oh God. Oh, it like doesn't really work. Uh, you got a red book. It's a red book. The pages are blank. Okay. That's fine. Uh, what's over here? Is there anything? Oh, it's a wooden book card on wheels. I could push it easily. Okay, maybe let's push it? Actually, let's... Um, should I... Oh, it just goes right to the other end? Okay. Interesting. Uh, anything of significance? It's a book stand. Great. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's more... Oh, God, it's going to be more puzzle solving. Oh, There's a green book, but I can't take it out. The display cabinet is locked. Uh, there's a dead person. That's always fun. You got three batteries. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Perfect Mundo. All right. Uh, anything of importance up here? There's a pedestal with a button. Shall I push it? I'm going to say no. Not yet. Not yet. I haven't looked around enough. Um, what is over here? What is anywhere? This is a... This library would be good if we could actually... I don't know. See? <laughs> uh, there's nothing. It's a book stand. Okay, maybe I should... Oh, wait. Hold on. I can push this. 
Let's push you forward. Okay, that didn't activate anything. But maybe I can push some of these somewhere. That didn't really do much. All right. Uh, oh, okay, I got a blue book. So there's a red book that I've got. There's a blue book I've got. And then there's a green book that needs to be got. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Oh, don't step on the glass. Oh, don't step on the glass. You got the green book. Cool. Okay, so I've got the red book, the green book, and the blue book. Do I have to push this back? Maybe? Maybe I'll push it back? I don't know. How far does it go? It just goes up to there. Uh, well, that's okay. Can I keep pushing this? Oh, I can. I can just push it across. Cool. Uh... It's a wooden cart with an owl. It's got wheels. It can be pushed easily. Okay, so what do I need to do with these books? Uh, is there a place where I need to place the books? Is there a part of this library that is like, hey, I'm missing these three specific books? Uh, hmm. I, I want to try. I just want to look around quickly before I push that button up there because I don't... This was as far as I got in like in the last time i recorded because i was I mean, we actually got through this last section pretty quickly uh because i knew what to do but in this section i was like all right let's save it for another time but now that i'm actually doing it i'm like i don't know what to do <laughs> okay i think the only thing i can do is is push the button because there doesn't really seem to be much else uh can i examine this oh 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 this should be okay well there's a green red and blue which means there should be a yellow book in 13 13 and red was two huh okay let's try because there's sections at the top right yeah so that's x i v that's x okay so it should be here shouldn't it like x i i use the oh well that's a yellow book we don't okay wait maybe that's it hold on hold on uh oh it's switched now every time we look at it it switches i think this is telling me where the books need to go so red has got to go in section two and blue has got to go in section eight okay let's try that so section two uh, that's VI, VII, I. okay, so section 8 is right here, okay, so let's use the blue book, you use the blue book, okay, alright, okay, I'm getting this, alright, the, uh, red book was section 2, which this is section 1, so this is section 2 right here, so let's use the red book, now there's still a yellow book I need to find, and there is a, and then we've got the green book, but we don't know what's by the green book. Uh, no. Darn. Can I keep looking at these, like, differently? Ah, okay. I need to try and find this yellow book, I guess, but I don't, I don't know where it is. I got no idea. And there's a pedestal on, on a ton of these different cases right so i don't really want to i think that's what it's going to be is that i need to place the books where they belong before i actually uh push push that button because i think that button at the end is going to open up the gate and i feel like if i do it wrong it's going to pull a whole like i don't know introduction to skyrim kind of thing where you press the button uh, with the wrong combination and then it just totally screws you over and then you're like dead <laughs> uh oh gosh come on where's the yellow book oh oh i see you i see you yellow book should i take the book yes we got the yellow book okay cool so now i just need to know where yellow and green need to go so where uh okay so green needs to go in x i i okay yell okay okay so 12 and 13 right yeah 12 and right yeah because we saw the yellow one earlier so let's go to 12 uh, which is here, and this is where the green one's gotta be, yeah, perfect, and then we'll come over to here, and is this 13? This is 13, so let's use the, 
Wait, no, I screwed that up, didn't I? Yeah, I just totally messed that up. Ugh. Okay, come on. Green book on this side, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And then yellow book on this side. All right, good thing I caught myself with that. Perfect. Okay, let's check it one more time just to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we should be fine with this. Okay, all right, let's try pushing the button. Should I push it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Uh, oh, I haven't saved. I haven't saved in so long. Oh, uh, should I go back and save? I'm gonna go back and save quickly. Okay, I am back. I am running. Uh, I guess I should have the flashlight on just in case. I saved the game and realized that the place I put the, um, whatever it's called was really inconvenient. The, the photocopy machine with the ink was in a very inconvenient place. Uh, it's a letter. It says, my friend, I would not trust any member of this company more so now as it slowly destroys itself. Anyone may be one of her children, and there is no way to know. We three are all who can be trusted. Signed, A.M. A.M. I don't think we know who A.M. is. Yet. Yet. I'm, I'm sure eventually. Oh. Oh, hey. Look at me being smart. Look at me be... Oh, no. Oh, never mind. I thought I had killed it, but apparently not. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, oh, let's use a pencil. We have five of them, so why not? Okay, cool. Uh, was there anything... Is there anything in these bookcases? Oh, I got a sheet of witch paper. Okay, I'm totally down with that. Anything here? No? Okay, whatever. I'm fine with the witch paper. There's another red letter. It's a note. It says, With the dagger in the hands of the crow... I pray that this nightmare ends. Now I leave in your hands the report of his progress. Signed, A.M. Okay. Alright. Oh, I got a candy bar. Hey, I'm down with that. I haven't really... Yeah, I'm at full health. Uh, another one. It's a letter. It reads, You could not have sent worse news. We must hide as soon as possible and delete any record of our names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. Signed, A.M. Who is A.M.? That is the question. Uh, ooh. Ooh, this does not look good. Uh-oh. I heard something. Oh, no. Oh, I hope this isn't the witch. Oh. Uh, okay. Before we go up, there there is a, a photocopier right here, meaning I should probably save... Uh, I should- oh, should I photocopy my face? Yes, I don't care. Let's save it right here. Let's do it. Probably, I guess, I didn't need to run back all the way then. <laughs> I just didn't think there'd be a photocopier just, you know, cruising here. Alright. Alright, guys, let's do it. Uh, this- this thing is reading a book. It may be... a purple book. Yes, it's Hex and Hammer. Should I take the book? No. Yeah, I guess I have to. Yep. Mr. Mummy, if you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. You got Hex and Hammer. At last, I can take this damn book to Sintra and then get the hell out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna... Is there anything I can do with the mummy at all? I'm just kind of inspecting it. No. It looks like a human body wrapped in a kind of chrysalis. It's sticky and it stinks. Gross. I wonder if that's like the librarian or something. I don't know. All I know is I want to get out of here as fast as possible. And... Yeah. Okay. There's just something about narrow hallways and spooky games that just... Oh, I don't know. They just don't do things for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. H Hello? I cannot let you take the old man's favorite book. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. All right. Just keep running. I just... Uh, the door is blocked up with spider webs. I can't get out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... I don't have anything on me that'll really do much. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I don't know another- Oh! Oh, that's where it is! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, gosh! Oh! 
Oh, I need to run. I need to run or else I am going to die. Now, I wonder if I can... Ha. Huh. Can I loop it and kill it? Oh, darn it. Oh, that hit me. Oh, I took some... I took some damage from that. Not fun. Okay, whatever. That was good. Now, where is it? Oh, it doesn't even trigger the mines. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, poo. Poopy. Uh, I guess there isn't really much I can do with this thing. Something interesting here. How do I kill this? <laughs> or where do I escape to, at least? Stop pushing the damn cards. Can't you see my little ones get sca- The little ones get scared? What? Oh, okay, I don't know what you mean by that, but I'll- I'll- I'll push the carts all the time. Yeah, can I just kill the mines quickly? Like, that's- Oh god, oh, it exploded right there. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh. Its light is off. Oh no. Oh god! Oh, I keep dying. This isn't good. I need to start killing these things. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, this is horrifying. This doesn't look good. This is not... Yeah, this is something that is very difficult to do. I can't think of what to do. It, it's just a gross... It's like, oh, it scares my little baby. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? That would make sense, actually. Oh, I just had an epiphany. Okay, I need to make them explode when the spider is near it. Right? That's the whole thing. Which means that I need to get the cart. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, wait. Let's move it to that side. Alright. That's fine. That's okay. We're just gonna have to loop it around a little bit again. Okay, come on. Come on. Come this way. Come on. What? Where, where are you? What are you doing? Come here. <laughs> I love how I'm antagonizing this thing now. Oh. Okay, it's coming back down this way, isn't it? No? No? You're fine. You're okay. You're okay. You're totally fine. Alright, we've just got to go around and be super speedy about this. Uh, we'll just go there and... Oh, darn! Did you go down? Oh, it went... Oh, it just didn't... Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna happen at some point. Oh! no, oh, maybe I can... Oh, darn it. I was trying to hope... I was trying to get it to... <sighs> this is difficult. This is very difficult. Okay, come on. Stay up there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Push it. Push it. Push it. Oh, yes! We did damage to it. Okay, cool. I know how to do damage to it now. Come on, which way are you coming from? I... Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> that was intense. That was really intense. That was super intense. Where is it? Where are you? Okay, you're going up that side. Oh, can you not? Actually, no, I need you to come up that side. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. Oh, are you still coming? You're still, yeah, you're still trying to kill me. Yeah, please. Yeah, okay, you're still going, still going, still going, still going, still going. Yeah, oh, boom! Oh, yes. Yes, you got hurt. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was so stressful. I think it's gone. Perfect. And the owl came to life? That's cool. That's interesting. All right. I guess we can get out of here then. Perfect. So it's good to know that there's a spider somewhere who is going to try and murder us uh, to death. That's that's fun. Uh, I'm guessing that was the librarian then. Actually, no. Wait, what are we talking about? The that that mummy thing was the monster, right? And then it just turned into that spider. I don't. I don't know. I got no idea. Nothing in there. That's fine. We'll just go back to our little office. Who's in here? No one is in here right now. Huh. Interesting. Yo, Sintra. Here's the book. You use Texan Hammer. Uh, excellent work, Mr. Pasternak. No, no, no more Mr. Pasternak. Is something wrong? Look, Sintra. I've just come face to face with a kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with eyes at me and there was a mummy in the dark and, 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 and... And, well, this isn't for me. I'm not gonna fit in here. I thought this was gonna be a normal office job. Checking papers and going out for coffee at mid-morning. I understand how you feel, Mr. Pasternak. We know that this is not an easy task and that you have a special responsibility within the company. 
On behalf of Centricorp, I would like to convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I would also like to inform you that I, personally, see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. Ah, well, thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Centricorp. As a, reward, as a reward for your work, you will receive a bonus of 1,000 credits, which I will transfer to your account. You got 1,000 credits. Dope! If you like, let's have a look at the contents of this book. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, I mean, Brian's like, oh, I'm not good at this job, but you're the only one who's ever in this, in the decades of this witch being a thing, have, has actually gotten this book, right? So, yeah. Aha, interesting. Reading complete. This is a book from the 15th century which was created to identify and hunt witches. As language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. Cool. Let's see. Ooh, there's a house. That's nice. First, where to find a witch. Witches make their lairs in places which have a deep meaning or a bond to their lives. Although their hiding place, uh, hiding places are often separated from urban centers thanks to their human appearance, they can, uh, excuse me, they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Cool. Good to know that we can get murdered by a witch that's living right around the corner. Second, how to recognize a witch. Witches are those women. Oh, okay, so they have to be women. Uh, witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers. Among them are the so-called familiar spirits, uh, or familiars spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a witch since one of their powers is transmigration? The ability to swap bodies with another. Oh, oh, that's hard. That'd be hard to catch then, totally. And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method to er eradicate the majority of witches, there are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history to have, who have proven to be immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse has continued to spread throughout the company. Great, so we can't kill it with fire, meaning that we're going to have to do something else. According to the book, the only way to put an end to the most powerful witches is to use a special ritual dagger called Athaim. Athaim? Atami? I, I, I don't really know how to say that. Atami! Uh, this weapon of great power can also have a deterrent effect, warding witches away from the wielder. Ooh, okay. Alright. This all sounds like a fairy tale. Oh wait, that's me talking. This all sounds like a fairy tale. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist. And if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They hardly, uh, they're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. It's clear, really clear, that something strange happens in this company, but I doubt very much that the problem will be solved by using a witch hunting guidebook from 500 years ago. Can't you see that that doesn't make any sense? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put my life on the line for this. Again, I'll just go to my office, and I'll sit in my chair, and I won't disturb anyone. You are sitting in your office right now. Well, I mean, oh gosh, oh. What was that? There is an event planned. Leave the session as soon as possible. There is an event planned? <laughs> With a horse? <laughs> what? Brian, remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Wait, did you call me Brian? Well, I guess I did complain. Why is there a horror? What in the world is going on? You! What are you still doing here? I, I, I... Oh, mon dieu! Get your ass to the meeting room! Who is that? Oh, what in the world? Who is this person? Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! What are you? We are the lowest of the low. Or we are the lowest of the low. I doubt it. What are you? 
We're garbage. My horse's ass smells better than you do. You're shit, but what should you be? The best. The what? The best of the best. And how are you going to achieve this? With our work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? Our blood. <laughs> our blood? Let's see, Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? I'm the lowest of the low, bro. Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like a sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better. But what should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. I see. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. Uh, but you're a bum, Mr. Hugo. What else do you have? Um, with my blood. All right, all right, all right. You can go back to your place. Oh gosh, today, I want to talk to you about something very important. A legend that you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. Uh, the witch is among us, comrades, and she has the form of a woman. I don't consider myself sexist. Cough, cough. But it's like that, it's a fact. It could be that lady you chat with about... Wait, it could be that lady you chat with about the weather in the elevator. Oh, okay. The girl you drink coffee with, lend pens to, or maybe you send her a fax in triplicate. But, uh, but Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah? Yeah? Let me tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Dada and I were in the canteen chatting with friends having a snack. They were our well-earned 15 minutes of rest. When I realized, sacre bleu, it was more than a half an hour since we came down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. We all crowded into the elevator and hammered the butt into our floor, hoping that that evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor at a turtle's pace, and just before the doors opened, quelle mal malchance! I, I don't know how to do any sort of French. <laughs> uh, the elevator was blocked, oh gosh. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. These setbacks are normal, it was only a matter of time before it worked again. But the truth was, I didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second, not just me. I saw Dada suffered from the same exasperated anguish. Something ran up my spine, silky lips, a woman's lips, kissed me on the cheek, and in that very moment, I got a boner. <laughs> oh, the lights went out. Without light, people exploded into chaos. Everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Shh. Oh, Miss Malone? This is weird. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball, that sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. At that moment, we all knew that death had come to take us away, that she, the witch, was among us. Uh, around me, I began to hear the cries of pain from my companions. It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. Mon dieu, pourquoi? I, clay, or I cried. Then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let the heavenly light fr uh, from the floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from the trance and, like an unconscious spark, he took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. <laughs> is Dada the horse? <laughs> Why is there- I don't think that horse could fit in the elevator. <laughs> a great sigh of relief came from our lungs. We were safe. But just before the doors had closed, covering up the whole massacre, icy lips hissed their way up my spine again this time to my ears and they whispered three words to me. Three words I'll remember all my life. Work. 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 What did she say to me? <coughs> work, work, work. <coughs> cool. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen, or you know what's waiting for you. Alright, 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 you lot are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. Uh, oh gosh, that's me. Yeah, you, you, what's your name, boy? Um, hi. 
My name is Pasternak. Mm. Kid, you see this horse? Yeah. Oh, oh god, that's a really detailed sprite of a horse. That's great. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my vir virile impotence. I don't have to prove anything when I'm on Dada. I am superior being. I am Charlemagne. But you, though, down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself noticed, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't, look, come closer. Oh gosh, that thing's gonna kill me, isn't it? Drop that briefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shields. Be a man, for God's sake. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, I don't have my briefcase. That's never good. Well? Well? Hmm. Your name. Your, your name. Ah, yes. My name is Pasternak. Pasternak. Did you know that your last name is of Jewish European origin? Um, no. It means parsnip. Okay, from this moment on, that will be your new name. Parsnip, parsnip, parsnip. Boy, I see you need motivation. No, no, just I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose you lose 200 credits. What? Parsnip, what are you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm a coward. I'm trash. I'm the lowest of the low. Uh, I, do I say I'm I'm the lowest of the lower? I'm trash. Oh, I don't know. Let's go to the lowest. Yuck! My horse can't stand your stench. Uh, I'm an exquisite. <laughs> what an exquisite animal! Uh, I'm shit. You lost two hundred credits. Oh no! But what should you be? Uh, the best. What? I didn't hear you right. Uh, the best of the best. Yep, cool. And how do you intend to achieve this? Uh, with my blood. What? No, what? That's not enough, Parsnip. What else you got? My, my love, my blood. What? I said my blood. Since you're new, I'll give you motivational tasks for initiation. You don't really have to, really. What? That's stupid. He said, oh, that's so dumb. Ugh. It's all right. It's a favor I'm doing for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be? Let Dada choose. Or let Dada choose, Colonel. Like in the old days. I lost six hundred bucks from this. That's so stupid. Oh, I just got a thousand and I lost six hundred. Ugh. What a great idea. Let Dada decide. Let's see, Dado. On what motivational task can we send Parsnip? Horse, horse sounds. <laughs> Horse horse sounds great. Oh, oh, what a great idea. Is this for real? Sacre bleu! Dada has been benevolent and given you an easy task. Pasternak, you'll have to make a friend in the office. But what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought I heard it must be someone from the fourth floor, from the hive. Splendid! In this way, synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend, you're a genius. Is that clear to you, Parsnip? I have to make a friend in the hive? Perfect. And that concludes today's motivational session. Now get to work. Cool, I lost 600 bucks from that. That sucked. <laughs> Dang! Oh! Oh, I thought I did well. I thought I did really well on that, but apparently not. Parsnip! Oh, Hugo, what do you want? What do you want? Here, you left your briefcase in the conference room. Got your briefcase. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything just happened. Ha ha ha, it's normal. It's best to play along. You'll get used to it. And I'm glad I did the horse trick. The colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows where he would have sent you. Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there and who knows, you might raise your salary. Or they might even change your job. Huh. Well, see you around. Huh. Well, okay, so he wants me to go down to the hive, and that's where the girl in the beginning went. Oh, I just gotta see. Does it show me my money? Yeah. Oh, 450. I had 1,050. Ah! So stupid. So stupid. Oh, hey, you're hanging around here. Ooh. Pencil costs. Oh, okay. Oh. A sachet of powdered. Okay. And we can buy boxes? 
Oh, a resin cardboard box costs 250 credits? Oh no, oh that's so much, I can only afford one now. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, that's poopy. Ugh. Uh, hello. She can't hear me, she's listening to music. I can't hear you, I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Oh, okay, thanks. Again, I can't hear you. Uh, sell supplies? Oh, I can sell supplies. Coffee powder, you have two. Pencils, you have three. Mm. Darn! This is where this game starts opening up, I think, a little bit. Uh, this is where it's gonna start being like, hey, now you've gotta start, you know, buying stuff. What was the point of the coffee maker and the coffee? Again, was there a reason for it? I'm gonna brew some coffee, because I don't, I don't remember anything. You got one cup of coffee. Is that just a Healy Dealy item? I guess, yeah, it must be. Drink? Oh, it heals up quite a bit. It does heal up quite a bit. Let's use some bread. Let's use some more bread. Okay, cool. So really, that's all the coffee is, is just for making better health, uh... Uh, potions, I guess, but not potions, but like healy dealies. Yeah. Okay. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it a day for today. Uh, we did a lot. We killed a spider. We found the hexen hammer, which is great. We got, uh, you know, our next task to go make a friend in the hive, which I'm sure is gonna be that girl that we saw earlier that we met, and it's gonna be very fun. So yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you like this episode, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do the things you do for everyone else, but do it for us. Do it for me. I love you guys, and, you know, I want the best for you, and the best for you might be, you know, watching Rockward Gamers content. I mean, it just might be one of those things. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue this, because I really want to, and I might just do it anyways. So, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.